Hey everyone, how's it cracking? So, I've just been away and in the last couple of weeks, Just Call Me Coco has released some incredible updates to their uh, Wi-Fi Marauder firmware. So, starting off at the V1.81, he's added a C5 flasher. Then in the, v5, in the V182, he's added a Karma attack. He's added a deauth while running Evil Portal. He's set Evil Portal AP from command line. He's added a GPS tracker. And then the Malform VPOL message. Then in V1.8.3, this guy has been on fire, he's unstoppable. He's fixed the Evil Portal and Karma crash on AP settings. And then the latest one, which I've just updated on my flipper and uh, Wi-Fi Mini V2. He's added a sleep attack, he's added an ARP scan, he's added an SSH scan, Telnet scan, GPS point of interest marker, and a select all button for APs and stations when you're scanning, which that is a hell of a lot of work. So if we go into this, so what I've done is I've just got a short press to get into mine. Once you do the short press on the flipper, that then starts up my mini and to get into those latest attacks going to Wi-Fi and here you can see from the last time I updated mine anyway scanners has now been added so when you connect to your uh, intended Wi-Fi point you can do a ping scan, ARP scan, you can scan all the ports, SSH scan and Telnet scan. This will all save to your SD card and then you can view that by a third party. Going into sniffers, obviously probe sniffer which is an important one, beacon, Dior sniff and then your people and PM kid scan. Detect all the SIDs, detect any pineapples. Detect any pornagotchies, it's always good depending on where you are, if you're out and about. You can check if anyone's checking you. Scan APs. This is incredible, this is one of my favourite firmware, it's by a long shot. And then to attacks. So it's got all the usual attacks and then you get down to the new one which I've not tried yet but I'll do. There's a karma attack, then you've got bad message, bad message targeted associated sleep attacks so I've not played around with those yet but I'll have to play around work out how they work, how they do and then uh, get a video on for those as well. I know for the karma attack you have to do a probe request attack and do that probe not attack you have to do a probe request sniff once that's run its course once you go into karma go back go into your attacks once you go into that, you go into Karma and then it will bring up the available networks that you can launch the Karma attack on. There's some seriously cool updates. He's definitely leveled this up. This is one of my favourite firmwares anyway. But now the versatility of this is for, for your pen testing for just general hacking fun is incredible. So for anyone that's new to it as well. To start the bad boy off most of the time, if you want to scan your APs, which is your access points, let this run. You can see at the top here it's cycling through all the different channels. Once it starts to pick up networks, they'll start to, to drop in and they'll drop in from 0, 1, 2, 3. Once it picks up the network that you want, press the button stop that, go back, go down into general, and this is basically the way how you start any of your attacks or investigations. Go down to select AP. He's put it in a nice dark colour so it's always hard to see. Go down to your selected Wi-Fi network or he's added a feature to select all. Just be aware that if you do a select all the attack will be less potent because it's having to deal with more networks. That means that it's going to have to use the same amount of energy spread over more networks so it might not be as effective if you've got multiple ones but for me I just want to select one so you press that it highlights the network you want go back go back again go down to attacks and then this is where it will do all the attacks that you need to do 
kann ich mich mit der von der auf Tage add. When the packets up, it shows you how many packets it's sending out. That comes back as zero, you've not selected an access point. So, anything I've got there connected to my 2.4 GHz network will now not be connected to said network. Some of my favourite things with this as well is just the, the sniffers and watching the packets, the packet, hydro packet monitor, just seeing what traffic is actually going through your network. Here's a channel analyzer. There's a really nice visualization there and it just shows all of the stuff. It's getting pushed through your network. Such a cool firmware this is. Signal monitors, raw chapter, running on one through password cracking and network and captain packets default and PM kid scan. Once you let that cycle through all the different channels. Once you've got that, it saves the files to the SD card as a PCAP file and then you can extract those and then use different programs, chat ripper and hash cap to the break those hashes and those passwords. Lots of fun to be had with this. If there's any other things that you want to do a deep dive into or look into more, let me know. I will be doing some more videos on this because it's literally one of my favourite things going. Obviously that's the Wi-Fi. Go back onto the Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth is actually awesome as well, this thing. We've got a Sour Apple, that's for iPhones. Swift pair, Samsung BLE spam. I have a Google phone and this thing throws out all manner of different spam Wi-Fi attacks, it's great. Or you can do the old spam all and just fire spam at anyone and everyone in the vicinity. Great bit of kit, this is hats off to uh, AWOC for this. This is Marauder, I think personally is one of the, the best firm ones out there. Cheers guys, thanks for your time.